how important is it that the ecosystem as a whole contributes and what role will the ecosystem play in developing 5G? An extremely important role, I think. No one company can do this by themselves. Um, I think the entire ecosystem, um, you know, contributing different elements of 5G and Edge um, is extremely important. And we need to, the more we can collaborate, the more we can um, reach out to address some of the pain points um, for mass scale um, uh, deployments of 5G, uh, the sooner, um, you know, that we all can look at um, uh, 5G deployments and also the true economic promise uh, of a 5G future. What are some of these use cases and industries that are probably going to see most demand at the edge? The first one is probably um, what we call visual cloud, which is um, uh, media processing, immersive media, <clears throat> cloud graphics, cloud gaming. Um, you're going to see a lot of demand for this. I mean, we are all slaves to entertainment so and gaming, and so you're going to see um, a lot of demand for that, and, and, the, and that is so bandwidth and intensive that the closer it is to the edge and to the, uh, the consumer, the better it is. Um, we're also seeing a, a lot of demand for the edge use cases from enterprises. So enterprises like industrial control, um, retail, digital security surveillance, um, large financial um, institutions who want to keep data on premise for data sovereignty, um, industrial control for extremely low latency, um, retail, uh, they have so much, uh, so many uh, sensors with RFIDs and others, so sensor fusion, um, and they want to have secure transactions. Um, so all of this, um, you, you're seeing a lot of demand from these enterprises where there's a very, very viable business case um, to host these use cases or applications at the edge. When do you expect to see real commercial deployments of 5G? Again, it depends on um, you know how you define those commercial deployments. I mean, you can start to see them as early as now or next year because you can have um, 5G capable um, uh, you know edge. Uh, nodes that can deliver on the low latency and bandwidth and machine-to-machine um, -machine communication. Uh, but I think um, if you truly envision 5G as being, you know, um, zero touch um, or automation, services provisioning, self-healing and self-learning, uh, resilient, elastic networks and, you know, an intelligent, programmable, scale scalable and composable network, um, I really think it's, it's like 2020, and beyond, uh, I'm, uh, no, note that the sooner it is, the better it is for me. For coming from Intel, um, I'm not, a, we're not an operator. So, uh, but I, but I think truly the vision of this, um, the the promise of 5G is really 2020 and beyond. So I think uh, 5G is um, accelerating, you know, the edge transformation. Um, and if you look at it, I like to think of the edge as being the first instantiation of 5G deployments. Um, because with a transformed edge, a virtualized um, edge, um, you're able to deliver upon the promise of um, enhanced mobile br uh, broadband, um, ultra reliable low latency, um, as well as massive machine to machine communication. Um, but most importantly, um, you're also able to um, uh, deliver on things like you know, reducing you know, the backhaul costs, um, as well as um, you know, on-premise um, data security or data sovereignty.